everyone. Today I am excited to share with you celebrity beauty secrets that keep them looking beautiful, young, and red carpet worthy. I want to preface by saying I want to ignore my hands because they are in dire need of a manicure and circumstances prevailed and I just have not been able to get to the salon, but I will this week. So no judgment here, please. Thank you. The first person I want to talk about is to me one of the most remarkable. Christy Brinkley. She's pushing 70 now and she looks absolutely beautiful. She never seems to age and she is really slowing down the aging process. I mean, I know that she stays very active. She plays tennis and she follows a diet that I'm not exactly, I don't condone, which is a mostly vegan diet, but that's a whole other conversation. But today I want to focus on just beauty secrets. She swears by exfoliating every single day. And I back that up as an esthetician because I adhere to the Harold Lancer method. Dr. Harold Lancer is a renowned dermatologist in Beverly Hills. And he swears that exfoliating gently every day will truly increase cell turnover and keep your skin looking young and fresh and youthful. And Christy Brinkley does just that. So she attributes her youthful skin to daily exfoliation. Okay, celebrity beauty secret number two, microcurrent technology. There are many brands on the market that create the microcurrent device that you can use at home. The celebrities that swear by it are Jennifer Aniston, Bobby Brown, the makeup artist, and Marco Robbie. Now they swear by it, and I even have one myself. I actually have the New Face Trinity. I will say, it does work because it works the muscles of the face to lift. So it temporarily lifts the face. You get like a mini facelift, if you will. But I actually swear by something that works better and it's free. It's the mastication isometric technique. All you do is you lift your head up, look to the ceiling and put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, like so. And then about 50 times, just move your jaw. You're gonna feel weird, it's gonna look silly, but it works, and in, in, in my opinion, it truly works better than microcurrent, but it does the same thing, except you're doing it yourself instead of a device doing it for you. Because it will help to defy gravity and lift those mastication muscles in the jaw area. So you go like that. Fifty times every other day, it works. Mastication isometric technique. I'm an esthetician and I believe in my humble expert opinion that it works better than the microcurrent lift and it's free. Okay, so celebrity beauty secret number three, ice cubes on the face. And this is by Jennifer Aniston. I have done this myself. I love using ice cubes or just ice cold water on my face. I feel like, you know, it really does truly wake up your skin. But also that cryotherapy, that's what it is, cryotherapy. It helps for the blood to rush to the surface of the face. And I believe that it really helps tighten the skin as well. So kudos Jennifer Aniston, I'm all about the DIY cryotherapy. Okay, this one, it's two beauty seekers from two different celebrities, same principle, but two different types of the same thing. Jennifer Aniston swears by olive oil on the skin and Emma Stone swears by grapeseed oil on the skin. I think both are fine, although I would personally as an esthetician prefer to use olive oil, but I will warn you that when you apply oil directly on the skin, it can actually trick your own oil glands to produce less oil because your skin will say, huh, I've already got enough oil on my skin, so let me just not produce enough or not produce my own, if that makes any sense. So. That said, you can still harness the benefits of the oil. So what I do is I add a couple of drops of my oil of choice, whether it's olive oil or hibiscus oil or tamanu oil, and I'll cocktail it with a moisturizer. Then I go ahead and apply it on my skin. So I never apply oil alone directly on my skin because I want my own sebaceous glands to produce its own oil. So again, you can use other oils, exogenous oils, but don't compromise your own oils from producing because we do need that to help lubricate our skin and to give us a nice healthy glow. Now, some of you might be saying, well, you know, I have very oily skin and I break out. So maybe that's a good thing. It's not. 
Let me add to that by saying that oil cleansing is a totally different animal. Why? Because it's not staying on the skin. If you're rinsing it off anyway, you're going to wash it off anyway. So that's totally different. In fact, I personally use jojoba oil to remove my makeup, my eye makeup in particular. I just take a couple drops of jojoba oil, rub it in the palm of my hand, and I just go like that. And that's how I get rid of my eye makeup. And then I go ahead and use a gentle face wash. So again, you don't want to keep oil sitting on your skin all night because we don't want to compromise our own oil glands. We don't want to trade physiology with exogenous oils. So again, if you are concerned about breakouts, I understand that, but you don't want to try to trick your own oil glands from not producing enough oil that way. There are other ways to help combat breakouts and that's for another video. Next celebrity beauty secret, Halle Berry. And she says to use rose water prior to makeup application because that dewy look looks a little healthier, it looks more natural, it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look powdery. So she swears by using just simple rose water as her toner prior to makeup application, which is, you know, foundation and, and setting powder, etc. I have never done this. Um, I normally don't do that, but I think because I just tend not to because my skin is already oily naturally, but I might end up incorporating that that tip into my own, you know, pre-makeup regimen as I get older and as my own oil glands tend to slow down. So if you want that dewy look, try the Halle Berry trick. Just simply do a mist of rose water prior to makeup application. Okay, the last celebrity beauty secret is from an OG supermodel, none other than Cindy Crawford herself. And it's an oldie, but a goodie. You might even think it's a no-brainer, but she says condition, 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 as in, of course, your hair. And as we age, our hair tends to look less shiny, less vibrant, and kind of brittle. So to preserve the youthfulness of our hair, to keep it looking shiny and beautiful, condition regularly often even do deep conditioning once a week if you have to because it will go a very long way instead of just doing the basic old wash and condition but to really hyper focus on conditioning the, the hair that will help and do wonders 